A lot of people are selling ball pythons these days, and everybody is competing to sell the same exact snake. Today I'll be talking about whether the ball python market is dead or alive. Think about it this way. If everybody had the resources to build a Ferrari factory, and in a matter of about a year, everybody was driving Ferraris, everybody was building Ferraris, let's say a $300,000 Ferrari, after that one year, would you still want to buy a Ferrari for the exact same price of 300000 No. Everybody would be competing to sell the Ferraris that they've made. And sooner or later, that $300,000 Ferrari would now be about twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Because everybody's bringing their prices down, down, down. So that they can compete with everybody else selling those Ferraris. And we can see that happening with almost every new morph that comes out. Now, of course, with recessive morphs, it takes a lot longer. Albinos took a lot longer to go from $10,000 down all the way to about $200, $300 nowadays. But banana ball pythons took a lot less to go from thousands of dollars to about $50 to $150 just for a regular banana ball python. And that's where the Ferrari example comes into play. Would you still buy that banana ball python for eight, nine, ten thousand dollars when you can go on Morph Market and find one for $150 from somebody else who didn't originate the banana gene? I wouldn't either. But let's say a banana leopard clown pastel, whatever you want to throw in there, now that is a lot more valuable because now you got not just a Ferrari, but you got the Ferrari Testarossa, the 458 Special or whatever, because of the value, because of how much harder it is to find that snake. Which brings us to availability and demand. A study done in 2017 and 18 by the American Veterinary Medical Association found that in the United States, about 80.1 million homes owned dogs and cats. While households owning reptiles were only 3.7 million households, that's a huge gap. And I believe with social media and more reptile keepers going out there and doing this thing, especially on YouTube and other platforms, more and more people will start getting into reptiles. But will it be enough to sustain the market? A video I saw from Leviathan Snakes showed that they actually found success in the 2020 season when everything was supposed to be shut down. They actually saw an increase in sales. And of course, America's favorite snake for beginners, intermediates, and experts alike is the ball python. What do you think? Do you think that the demand of ball pythons is steadily increasing with the amount of people getting into reptiles? Or do you think that the amount of people breeding these snakes is just going to outweigh the amount of people asking for them? And it's still going to end up crashing the market. What do you think? I also believe that ball pythons are going to become less desirable in the future, especially with people who want to diversify their collection. Going into this new decade, there has been so many different species that people have been getting into. For example, there's the Stimson's pythons, the children's pythons, hognose snakes, dwarf retics. I mean, you name it. There's so many other species of reptiles out there and it's not just snakes it's geckos lizards too those are becoming way more available than they used to be and i believe that there will be a massive shift especially when these smaller python species and other reptiles start becoming more available in different morphs and different traits imagine having a panda pied children's python as more species of pythons and boas and other reptiles start to get worked on from all these breeders, I think that there will be a decrease in sales of ball pythons. So together with the knowledge of new breeders, new species, new traits, growing demands, what are your thoughts and opinions? Do you think the ball python market is dead or alive? You should comment down below and let me know what you think. I would love to hear your responses. Also, if you haven't noticed, I got this... Um, project going on in the background i just need the leka clay and a couple other things that i need to get um, i already have the iheart geckos conversion kit that i've used on this tank right here so if you want to see that build definitely subscribe and i'll be sure to let you guys know when this video is going to drop which should be in the next two weeks or so anyways i hope you guys all have a good 2023 a good rest of your january and god bless